So I recently discovered a very effective, easy, and awesome way to generate mid-journey prompts. This is a very good hack for creating mid-journey prompts quickly, efficiently, and they also look very good. So then we'll take those prompts and see if they truly are interchangeable with Leonardo AI. A lot of times you could use the same prompts within each other and they can create some great looking AI art utilizing the same prompt. Stick around because you don't want to miss these prompts. So the first thing you'll do is open up any Chrome window. And I specify Chrome because it needs to be Chrome. The reason being because this hack for mid-journey prompts, we need to use the Harpa AI Chrome extension. I have a video on how to use Harpa AI within the Chrome extension. I highly recommend checking that video out as well because that's really gonna help you navigate and figure out how to use it. And we're gonna be using that today specifically for these mid-journey prompts. In the top right-hand corner, just simply open up that Harpa AI Chrome extension. What we're gonna do, right away is at the very bottom just click on the slash command and just start typing in mid journey so i don't know if you knew this but on the right hand side there's actually a prompt generator within harper ai that will help you create awesome mid journey prompts making it very easy efficient and effective to create some really high quality prompts and a lot of times these can be used with leonardo ai so Back on over here at Google, we have the Harpa AI Chrome extension opened, and then we have the one that came up called Mid Journey Prompt Generator. And that's what we're gonna work on today. Just click it, and then you'll see exactly what it says. On the bottom right hand side, it says this Mid Journey Prompt Generator will output four detailed Mid Journey prompts for your topic. And so in the bottom right hand corner, here's the first thing I'm trying. I put 8K Ultra Realistic Air Jordan shoe. That's all you have to do. Let's go ahead and hit the send button and watch it come up with these prompts. It's gonna generate four prompts for you and you can see how quickly it gets to work. And so it has one, two, three, four. Again, remember this is chat GPT actually. And so you can just say, give me four more. So I'm gonna say, give me four more. And just like chat GPT, it keeps the conversation going and it's gonna give me four more prompts to use on mid journey to generate some ultra realistic Air Jordan shoes. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just go ahead and copy the very first one. One thing I want you guys to keep in mind it's gonna be very helpful for you it's important to copy and paste the prompt just like this I'm not gonna copy and paste where it says imagine prompt and I'm also not gonna copy and paste the very ending where it says AR 169 v5 don't copy that so just copy the main description a breathtaking close-up of a pair of 8k Air Jordan shoes so just copy that so the first thing you'll have to do in mid journey is just hit that slash command and then type imagine allow that prompt to come up and now just simply paste that prompt within that command and then hit enter and let's go ahead and let mid journey get to work on this and so while mid journey is thinking watch this let's take that same exact prompt and then head over to leonardo ai to see what this can come up with so in this case on leonardo i'm simply using the leonardo diffusion fine-tuned model and so i'll just go ahead and just paste that prompt exactly how it is and then i'll hit enter and generate this prompt too Okay, so Mid Journey is done, and let's expand this image and open it up. Check that out. Now, that's a fantastic job. If you look at those shoes right here, we have one option, the black and red one, on the bottom right-hand corner. It looks exactly like these. And so it got the shoes perfectly. These shoes I'm holding up are the white and red version of the ones you see on your screen on the bottom right-hand corner. So if I'm looking at the screen, if I'm looking at both of them, it did get it just about right. And then you could even see the tongue. It got it almost perfectly, but it just created a different color scheme where that's the black and red and the ones I'm holding are they're gonna be the black and white. And so while Mid Journey hit that pretty good on the head, let's go ahead and see what Leonardo AI did for us. And then take a look at these images it showed. Two completely different images, different variations, but look at these. These pretty much, these look fantastic as well. Now to be fair, I don't really know if those are actually a Jordan shoe, um, but nonetheless, the photo still does look good. But again, in Leonardo AI, we can choose a different fine-tuned model. And let's just do that very quickly and then just see if it can come up with something a little bit different. Okay, so now this time with a different, different fine-tuned model, this one comes out a little bit more realistic with the blue and white Leonardo AI. I could say Mid Journey got this pretty accurately. Looking at that, let's just try one more. I really am fascinated by the one it gave us where it says a visually stunning underwater scene showcasing Jordan shoes. Okay, so just for purely entertainment purposes, here's what Mid Journey did for us as far as the underwater Jordan shoes. Now, to be completely honest, we did, I mean, those do look pretty fascinating. It is pretty cool and accurate, but this did create a unique prompt for us. Okay, now quickly, I wanna try one more prompt. We're gonna do one more and then we'll move on to the next topic. On the right-hand side, I got a captivating still life composition showcasing a pair of these shoes. 
troops. And so if we head on over to Leonardo AI, you could see these here. Now this is a very cool and impressive photo. It's like a product display image. Now to be fair, that's the interesting thing about Midjourney and Leonardo AI. Whereas Midjourney seems to know exactly what a Air Jordan shoe looks like. It, it, it seems to know the qualities of, of, of this type of a shoe and it does a good job creating it just like this. However, Leonardo AI, even though it might not know the difference between a Nike shoe and a Jordan shoe, nonetheless, this photo is still fantastic and it did a good job creating a ultra realistic basketball shoe at least. And I would use some of these images myself. I like them. So to be fair, in this case, Mid Journey wins the battle here with accuracy. But again, like I said before, just for some different distinction and stuff, you could use this interchangeable with Leonardo AI. So back on over to Mid Journey, we have one more captivating still life composition. And then we can open this one up. And this one's pretty cool too. Let's open this one up. And then you can see this one looks pretty good too. And so this one has the athlete with the shoes. It even got the right colors with uh, Michael Jordan in the right two pictures. So I did a pretty good job. And then another prompt I asked it was an all-spiring aerial view of a mesmerizing collection of different Jordan shoes. I mean, and that looks pretty cool too. As I expand this one, I want to show you one more collection that made for me earlier. Now I did this prompt utilizing the same Harper AI mid journey prompt tool, and it created these for me as well. Let's keep the trend going and then just do a few more just to show you guys how easy and how fantastically efficient this can be. And now this time I'm going to say in the bottom right hand corner, hyper realistic futuristic sports car, and we'll go ahead and generate that prompt. We'll let Mid Journey get to work on this prompt. And then while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and type in one more. And so I'll keep the conversation going. And now this time I pasted in a nighttime scene with the galaxy and stars. We have two last prompts to check out. We have the hyper realistic sports car. And then we have the nighttime scene with galaxy and stars. Again, let's go ahead and copy and paste this one. Now in Mid Journey, you can copy and paste the whole thing, except for the imagine prompt section. You just don't want to do that in Leonardo AI. So let's head back over to Midjourney and then do the same thing with our Imagine prompt. And so I typed it into Midjourney. That's sending the command. And then while we're waiting on Midjourney, I'll do the same thing over here in Leonardo AI. I'll paste the same one in for the supercar. And then in Leonardo AI, I'll just take off the very ending where it says AR169 aspect ratio. Hit generate. And now we'll have both of them working for us. Okay, so it looks like Leonardo AI has the first prompt done for us as far as a sports car. That looks very good. Not bad at all. Okay, and then we can see what Mid Journey did for us on the sports car. That sports car looks pretty good. Now, the prompt we said was a close up. And so that, that's not bad for a close up. And then I tried Leonardo AI one more time utilizing a different fine tuned model. This time I used Dream Shaper 3.2 and then that's the close-up version of that sports car not bad but i want to try this prompt without close-up and really get the full effect of a good car and so as we're waiting on the sports car one check this out let's look at the nighttime setting that mid journey created for us here is the nighttime setting we asked mid journey to create and this one was a mesmerizing nighttime scene set against a backdrop of the galaxy and stars and so that was a pretty good prompt as well let's head back over to leonardo ai and here's what it did for us for our second version of the sports car remember an awe-inspiring night scene featuring a hyper-realistic futuristic sports car parked in front of a futuristic cityscape. That looks phenomenal. That looks really good. I like these images that this made for us here. And so this one was actually made in Dream Shaper 3.2, which is probably my second favorite. Oh, wow. So now check this one out in Leonardo AI. I changed up my fine-tuned model and look at the difference here. So the first one is going to be Dream Shaper 3.2. And we can look at the different variations here. Pretty cool. And then we moved on and chose Leonardo Diffusion with the same exact prompt, but then look at the supercar we got in a futuristic cyberpunk city. Very good. And um, I like the way these, these look as well. And so then I added one more into Leonardo AI. This one was an intimate and dramatic showcasing the details of a futuristic sports car, emphasizing its dynamic lines and aerodynamic features. Look at the one that Mid Journey made for us. Now this is pretty good. This is the same prompt we did in Leonardo AI as far as the cyberpunk city. This one looks very good. Here's the other one it made for us with the supercar in a futuristic cyberpunk city in the background. I mean, that looks fantastic as well. Let's just do one more breathtaking panoramic view of the nighttime sky with the galaxy and stars stretching across the horizon. Back over here on Mid Journey and look exactly what it made for us. Here's the image it made for us. That's beautiful. I mean, that's phenomenal. That looks very good. Hyper realistic, 8K. And so remember, just to summarize, when you're utilizing these prompts like this, you're gonna go to a Chrome window, you're gonna open up the Harper AI Chrome extension, and then on the right hand side, 
side is where all the magic happens. You hit that slash button and then just type in mid journey. Once you start typing in mid journey, you're going to select the mid journey prompt the generator. And then at the very bottom, all you have to simply do is just type in your topic or keyword and boom like that. It's going to create four very amazing prompts for you. You now have an automatic ideas machine prompt generator specifically for you, the keyword and the topic you want to use right here within one window. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Oh,